All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. This is the first article of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, but it isn't a reality for everyone around the world. To achieve change, human rights defenders need to organize and demand that all people's rights be respected. So to wrap up the year, let's recognize where progress was made in 2023. After years of pressure from civil society, the Japanese parliament passed its first law to protect LGBT people from unfair discrimination. And Nepal recognized the first marriage between Nepalis of the same legal sex. In Mexico, a coalition of activists led Congress to pass a law that ensures people with disabilities and older people have the power to make legal decisions for themselves. Human Rights Watch's Welcome to Canada campaign helped place Canada on the path to effectively ending the use of provincial jails for immigration detention across the country. Tanzania's parliament amended a law to remove criminal liability for defamation, better protecting journalists from being targeted for publishing content that's critical of the government. In the US, a new law allows the nation's largest public health insurance program, Medicare, to start negotiating prices for some of the most expensive medicines it provides, breaking the total control that pharmaceutical companies have had over drug prices for decades. The European Union passed a law that says companies can only import and export palm oil, cocoa, soy, and four other products if they were produced on land that has not been deforested since 2020, and their production respected human rights. Honduras ended a ban on emergency contraception, and Mexico's Supreme Court ordered the federal decriminalization of abortion. And Brazil's Supreme Court is considering a case that could decriminalize abortion, so hopefully they'll be part of the green wave soon. And lastly, the International Criminal Court has updated its policy to better hold perpetrators of crimes against children to account. This isn't a comprehensive list, and of course, there's more work to be done to address the many ongoing human rights violations around the world. Let us know where you want to see progress in 2024.